This is finally from the Hat New York. So I'm coming to you guys with a mini food haul. So I went to write in and um, they had the weekends on sale, which hopefully I eat before it expires. What's the expiration date? Oh, I'm good. This 6th of November. So I'm good. Um, I picked up these for the simply for the salt. It's the original, and the original has you can see the salt greens on it. And these have like chunks of salt. So being that I'm throwing up so much, and I'm in my third semester, third try, third trimester, third semester. <laughs> I keep saying semester trimester. You guys know I'm pregnant. Like damn, like look at this belly. Look at this belly. Y'all, do y'all believe that y'all asked me for belly shots? And I try to show y'all belly shots of this belly. And they flagged my video for showing my daughter kicking in my belly. Like, how sexual is that? <laughs> like, they legit flagged my video, y'all. Like, it was something sexual about a baby kicking in a stomach. But anyways, y'all. Yes, y'all know I'm in my... Yeah, um, in my third trimester. I just finished eating lunch and I'm so full. Um, for breakfast I had a uh, nutriment for breakfast. That's what I've been eating for breakfast in order to eat because I've been throwing up so badly. So I started a liquid diet. There's nothing there but. So I started a liquid diet. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys this. Um, yeah, it's uh, stop. Start work at 2018. And this is the certificate, and I always write my name on it, and then I write, I always write my aunt and my name on it. So it says like enter your name here, so I write my name here, and then um like right here, I write my aunt's name on it, and then I write my name here. So um yeah, and I always pick up two just in case I mess up. So I always pick up two. And this is what it looks like before I write on it. And I always hang it on my wall because, again, this is something sentimental. But as you guys know, this year I was unable to walk. I could not walk this year because I am seven months pregnant. Almost eight months pregnant. And I cannot walk. Okay. That would just, like, in my current, like, current position of... I can't see where I'm at. I cannot walk to okay. So I wanted to get some fruit in my diet, but the smell of fruit is like not good for me. I smelled fruit and I started throwing up all over the place. If I smell fruit cooking, I start throwing up all over the place. <laughs> so afterwards, after the food is cooked, I can go in and snatch some and come out um papaya i shouldn't be eating papaya because it induces labor so i really shouldn't but being that it was organic fruit and this is organic fruit as well i'm really trying to make sure that i clean out my system really well so um this is good to um this is good for constipation i'm not constipated but um you guys know like there's like a gap between once you give birth for those mothers out there i know a lot of you guys watching my videos don't have children some of you do but after you give birth for the first time there becomes like a gap between the vagina cavity which is the vagina opening and the anus so um they're like if you don't use the bathroom properly um stool shit shit stool shit um builds up there and that's bad for you and you can feel like pressing or like during sex like if you're having sex um so this organic papaya this organic mango they were 4.29 a piece um if during sex when you're having sex um the penis also like if the guy is like really large it allows the vagina to stretch a little bit more to fit capacity of the penis. So, um, yeah, that's two things that build up there. <laughs> so, um, this is a Trident White 
and it says it whitens teeth in as little as four weeks and this is the spearmint i had a talk like this before on my channel with you guys about stuff like this and you guys were like you guys were really into it but then it was like i was i felt like i was like some like doctor or nurse or some shit and i'm i'm young like i'm groovy you're cute here you're cute here you're cute here she's so sexy yeah so today is the 22nd, so I'm 28 weeks and 3 days, 28 weeks and 2 days pregnant. Today is the 22nd, 28 weeks and 2 days pregnant. So this is a Trident White. The only thing that I could, um, I have to like do something with my mouth. I have an oral fixation and it's really bad. As you guys know, my tongue is pierced. And... It's still like really very sensitive. Um, I don't know if you guys see that. <laughs> like, um, I legit just made six months having my tongue piercing. Um, it says that it takes six weeks to heal, but when I Googled it, it says it takes six months to heal. So I legit just made six months with my tongue piercing and my belly button piercing, so I really don't wanna take it out. If you guys can see that, the belly button. And my belly button's turning to Audi. You guys can see that. And my belly button's like, it's, it's coming out. It's, it's like, it's not any anymore. It's coming out. So I know I'm officially in my third trimester. By my second trimester, I had, um, like, capsulized on my body capacity. And, like, with all my pregnancy, by my second trimester, I was like... My stomach was already turning to Audi. I was, like, exhausted. I was like, Jesus, I just got to make it 12 more weeks. I just got to make it 12 more weeks, y'all. Like, I just got to make it 12 more weeks. I just got to make it 12 more weeks. 12 more weeks to have this baby girl. I just got to make it 12 more weeks. Like, if I was to tell y'all how I feel my body has capsulized like I told you guys I haven't gained any weight my goal was to gain five pounds altogether with my pregnancy I have not gained not one pound throughout this whole entire pregnancy I'm all stomach all baby all stomach haven't gained any weight if I did gain stretch marks I wouldn't know I mean there were already some there enough there that it wouldn't really bother me unless like I got like stretch marks in like a weird place like if i got like stretch marks like under my underarms or like in between my breasts or like more on the front of my vagina like that would or like like that would bother me or like my thighs or something like that like i don't have stretch marks on my thighs and i don't have like those craters that some people have on their thighs and i don't have back fat and I don't have side fat because I'm like really like before I got pregnant I had abs so I'm like really 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 trim in those areas and my legs are just like mad long like so there's no place for that so like unless I gained weight in those places then I probably would have not been so happy with this pregnancy I probably would have been sad but I didn't so I picked up the milk chocolate with almonds, Hershey's nuggets. This is something that my mom, she used to buy us as a gift um, every time we went to Hershey's, Hershey's Kisses Park. Now, I don't remember anything about Hershey's Kisses Park because we haven't been, I haven't been there since I've been a kid. As you guys know, I've been in the system for the last couple of years and then I, then I aged out to myself. So they normally $5.49. And I know it's more expensive. Well, I can't really sell. At Rite Aid, it's more expensive. So, it's more chocolate. These were two for seven. These were two for five. These were $1.25 each. And these were two for five as well. Um, but, yeah. Normally, at, um, like, chocolates like this, because I know it's a big brand. Hershey's is a big brand. A lot of people don't realize that Hershey's is a big brand, but Hershey's is a big brand. Um, I haven't even been interested in actually traveling, to be honest with you guys. Like, like at all. Like, 
I, it's, it's not something that intrigues me. Like, I want to discover Manhattan. I'm like a huge insider. I'm inside most of the time. So I need to like explore Manhattan and find out Manhattan. Like, it's really bad because I don't even know like certain local buses, how to get back to my house. Like, that's how bad it is. So I'm not really interested in traveling outside of New York when New York is so big. Like, I, I haven't went to Staten Island. I haven't went to Long Island. I haven't even went to New Jersey. I've been there before in my life, but I haven't went. So, like, as far as, like, if, like, an outing for me, like, an outing for me, I could just go someplace in Manhattan that I haven't been before, and I'm, like, super excited, and I'm mad happy. But if I do travel outside of New York, I'll be super excited and mad happy, too. But I'm not like, oh, um, yeah, I'm going to be planning this trip to be going here. You know, not really. Ah, my mouth. My mouth. <laughs> my mouth. So, yeah. So, I, I literally snap on these. Like, you guys are to be so happy <laughs> that I live by myself and nobody's around me. Like, I smack on these. Like, I be like, because I put, like, four in my mouth. And, like, one is, like, so much of this gum. Oh, she was eating blueberry, 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 um, breakfast bar. So, I, um, trained my cat to eat normal food as well because I didn't just feel like giving her processed food. And you guys know that that food that we buy in the store and they eat, that's processed food. But when I go to the store and I buy organic mango or organic something like this, you know, that's that's fresh food. So that's organic blueberry breakfast bar. So that's what I try to give. I try to incorporate regular food. They said if, um, they said the time to incorporate regular food with your pet is in the first six months so that your pet will develop a um a appetite for regular food so that's what I did um I actually fed Bella breast milk because I was still breastfeeding my kids when I when I originally adopted Bella from ASPCA um they were gonna put her down they were like um when I got there the paper said three days simply because <coughs> excuse me she was almost six months and um, I, I don't know if you guys know, but at six months, they're considered to be fully grown. So, um, as far as cat years, you guys know cat years are not like human years. So, at six months, the cats and dogs are considered to be fully grown. They're like five years old almost at, um, at six months. So, a lot of people don't want them because they're grown. But I had to have Bella. You guys, I was praying for Bella. I was praying that the paperwork, everything work out because I had to have Bella. I had seen how they euthanize the animals and how they kill them when they put on that paper. And when they put on the website, a lot of people, they take it for a joke. They be like, oh, this is a scam. They're not serious, but they are serious. They take the animal over to another side of the room and they inject them and euthanize them with two injections and then they die. And then they put them in like a machine that crushes them. They don't bury them alive. They put them in a machine that crushes them and then it becomes medical waste. And then they just like bury a bunch of like bones and fragments from the animal. Okay. So I seen this and I had to have Bella. I just had to have Bella. Like, I was shaking. Like, I was just shaking. And then somebody had the audacity to, like, try to, like, pay more money for Bella. So, I was so upset because they have a, um, they have a, um, like, a set price to adopt the animal. And they tried to, like, pay pay more money they were like oh i'll pay more money and then next thing you know they would have threw bella back into the system back into the shelter system and it would be like from start over again i was hysterical you guys but god was good and i got bella so i'm so happy like i couldn't be more happier i got a friend indeed look at her she had not gained one pound Ooh, sorry y'all she have not gained one pound. So with my gum, I don't like seeing... Oh, hopefully y'all can see me. 
with my gum. I don't like seeing the um I'm trying to set y'all up so y'all can see me. With my gum, I don't like seeing the wrapper. So what I do is I pull off the entire wrapper. I'm just like, yeah, I'm not a spokesperson for Trident. So I pull off the whole, I pull off the whole thing and then I just leave it like this. That's how I do. Um, yeah. Um, so I just take the whole thing off. Take the whole entire thing off. And then it just looks like this. Oh, and then I also take off the stick up here as well. This is like Trident is not paying me. I am not a spokeswoman for Trident. And let's take off that. The way to take off the sticker really easy is to open it, and then you could grab the sticker from the side and pull it off and dispose of it. So I take off all of that, and then this is how it looks. Still has the expiration date. And it's just gum now. And both of them have 50 pieces. So I have 120 pieces here. And gum has been entertaining me lately. Um, you guys know pregnancy is boring. You're not usually as like up upbeat as you are before you're pregnant. When you're pregnant, the simplest stuff make you happy because the simplest stuff make you upset. Like if you're talking and somebody cuts you off, you're ready to cry. You're like really upset. You don't believe that somebody would say something like that to you. So I was already sensitive before I got pregnant. And now I'm pregnant. And now I'm pregnant. So uh, I'm even more sensitive. Like I'm 20 times more sensitive now. I don't even answer to a lot of things more. I just be like whatever like i start crying i'll be so upset usually i probably would have argued and then start crying or start crying and then argue later on but since i've been pregnant i'm like happy with the small stuff so yeah y'all say bye see she said bye with her tail say bye so thumbs up this video share it like it subscribe to my channel to stay there me and my life you guys requested these mini vlogs so here it is it's tuesday may 22nd um i'm gonna get this video up for you guys um be blessed as i do the same again this is brownie and micah angela and bella from manhattan new york Mwah.